Are you a retro gamer but don't like switching out your controllers just to play the classics? If so, I think this controller might be for you. Today I review this, the 8-Bit Doe Pro 2 Bluetooth controller. Alright, so let's take a look at the packaging to see what we're getting into. On the front, we just have an image of the controller itself. The top is almost blank with just the 8-Bit Doe on the top left. The back just shows what it's compatible with, Switch, Windows, Android, Mac OS, Steam, and Raspberry Pi. And this is the black edition. The sides are very blank, blank, gray on that side as well. And the bottom just has a small 8-bit dough logo right in the center. So now let's open this up and see what we're dealing with. So let's cut it open. Okay, sliding it out. That to the side. Looks like we've got a slide up top box. And we're greeted with the controller itself. The plastic on top, put that to the side. Here's the controller itself, very nice. Put that to the side and we'll take a look at that in a second. Go back to the box, here we go. We've got a very large instruction manual. Looks like if you open this up, we've got a few different languages. Apologies for the paper crumpling. So we'll put that to the side. And it looks like you also have a USB A to a USB C. So we'll put all that back in the box. I don't think there's anything else included. All right, so we've got this last little bit of plastic. We'll peel that back. Buttons are actually very nice here. So yeah, I'm really liking the way that looks. It feels really nice in hand. You can tell that it's a pretty good quality plastic here. The weight also feels really nice. And we'll go ahead and weigh this now. So I've got a PS4 controller along with a switch controller as well. So we'll bust out the scale. I'll actually weigh this to see how heavy it is. Zero it out. All right, let's see. So first we'll go ahead and weigh the switch controller. That comes in at about 8.7 ounces. Next we'll weigh the PlayStation 4 controller. Comes in at about 7.7 .7 ounces. Now we'll weigh the Pro 2 controller. That comes in at exactly eight ounces. So this falls in between the Switch and the PlayStation 4 controller. Now that we have the controller out of the packaging, let's talk about the design and build quality of the Pro 2. It's clear that the controller is molded after the SNES, and it definitely has that retro style aesthetic with a bit of a modern touch. It also resembles the PlayStation controller with the added grips. It is a rubber membrane controller, so keep that in mind. You're not gonna get that overall superior tactile feel. It also has six motion axis control with rumble. Looking at the back again of the Pro 2, it features a pro level back button on both sides in terms of ergonomics and comfort. I'm really liking the placement of the D-pad. It's placed right where you'd want your thumb to be if you're going back and forth from the analog stick. The shoulder buttons are springy and provide enough feedback without feeling spongy. The analog sticks also offer buttery smooth movement with a good amount of tension and resistance. 8-Bit Doe's Ultimate software gives you elite control over all aspects of your controller. It's also available on Android and iOS. The software allows you to remap buttons and customize your playstyle. It also allows you to adjust your joystick trigger sensitivity. You can modify the intensity of the controller's vibration as well. In addition, you can create macros with any button combination to execute in gameplay. For example, you can program a fatality or a finishing move in a fighting game. Lastly, you can create controller profiles and switch between them at any time with the custom profile switch. When it comes to versatility and compatibility, the Pro 2 seamlessly works with a wide range of platforms, including PC, Nintendo Switch, and more. The four-way mode select button allows you to instantly toggle between Switch, Android, 
D input and X input, so you can pair it to any device easily. Now let's talk about battery life, because nobody wants their gameplay sessions interrupted. The Pro 2 has a removable battery door that includes a rechargeable 1000 milliamp lithium ion battery. If needed, you can just pop in some AA batteries and keep the party going whenever you run out of power. You can expect about 20 hours of gameplay with a 4 hour charge time. It's not bad in my opinion, it seems pretty on par with modern controllers nowadays. So now, wrapping up my review of the 8-bit Doe Pro 2 controller. It combines retro design with decent comfort, precise controls, extensive software customization options, and a seamless compatibility between devices. Whether you're a casual gamer or a hardcore enthusiast, the Pro 2 is not a must-have accessory for your arsenal, but it can be a good addition nonetheless to fill that void whenever you want to play a classic. With a price point of $49.99, I can't say that I highly recommend it, but if you're a retro gamer, you might want to check it out for the D-pad and the nostalgia alone. This controller doesn't knock my socks off, but it does do everything well enough to get the job done. So now I'll give my final score in five categories. Ergonomics, four out of five. Price and value, four out of five. Quality, four out of five. Practicality, four out of five. And you may have guessed it, aesthetics, four out of five. That's it for today's review of the 8-bit Doe Pro 2 Bluetooth controller. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more reviews. Let me know in the comments down below what you think I should review next. And until next time, peace.